Hello guys, hello Tigers and welcome back to the next lesson of our database course and our database management system course. In this lesson, we will learn, as we promised you, we will start with the database and database systems history. But before going through database and database management system history, we need to get a quick definition about database. So, the question is, what is a database? Database is a collection of, of information that organized in some way to make it very easy to be accessed, to be managed, to be query. So, if we need some information about our data, all what we need to, to do is to go to our database and make this query. And these data according to relational uh, database these data storage in some tables these tables has built and connected to each other by two types of keys these keys called primary keys and foreign keys don't worry guys about these concepts we will teach you these concepts in depth but now I will give you a quick definition for database so these tables connected to each other using these keys and these keys will specify the relationship between these tables all these activities we can do it through these tables and through these relations also database has many advantages for example it helps you to get like some reports daily reports weekly reports any kinds of reports and there is the system who is responsible for dealing with these databases because this system will fall in the middle between database on one side and between the application on the other side or the user this system is responsible for act interacting between database and user or application all activities that needs to be done on databases will be done through database management system and the abbreviation for both database and database management system for database is db and for database management system is dbms and we will learn many things about these two things and these two terms but now we give you like a quick definition for both database and database management system now we get a quick definition about database and database management system now let us move it let us move forward to the next step now we need to build your knowledge about database systems history the beginning was at 1960 in this year companies start innovated what they call navigational database management system because in the same year companies invented direct access storage disks and that helps companies to build what they call navigational database management system in these database management system there was data and there was some kind of connections between data and you can navigate from one data to another so this is the beginning at 1960 then after that at 1962 there was a developing company at california state they were working to develop some kind of software this company used the terms database for the first time so this company invented this term and i don't know the name for that company because i have searched about the name of that company but i didn't find it just they mentioned at 1962 database terms used for the first time so they invented the term for us then after that situation continue until 1960 until the mathematician Ted Code who is an employee at IBM company the very well-known company at that time Ted Code at 1970 put his theories about database and about some kinds of relational database and how can we 
separate these data into tables and these theories were very weird at that time therefore he didn't find anyone to support these theories for him after that and the same in the same year his friends Don Chamberlain who is the first person helped to invent the structure query language support his friend and they do a lot of work about database relational database theories but they didn't invent anything at that year then after that at 1971 Charles Backman who is the very who is the very well-known author who is invented what they call integrated data store the IDS the very fast database network and performance who try to collect a group of people who worked with IBM on TED theories and they try to invent and to enhance the relational database management system modules and they worked on some standards for COBOLs at that year and they put some standardization and some rules for database then at the same year 1971 IBM company worked on a system and they developed a system they call it system R but as it's always with IBM company they didn't tell anybody about that system they hide it in their labs they put it for themselves but they didn't and they didn't announce about that system then after that in the 1979 the very rich American well-known man Larry Ellison who is the Oracle foundation manager right now Larry Ellison tried to combine people and developers from both from two different places first IBM companies second California University he com he combined two groups of peoples and developers and scientists who have worked on database and relational database theories from TED code and they start to develop their modules then in 1980 Microsoft joined to Ashton Tate and Safe Base companies and they produced or they invented the very first release of their database which is the enterprise level that release was 1.0 version and they worked to develop that release in 1983 Larry Ellison and his group invented the first portable version of database they call it Oracle so this is the beginning of the first the first database management system which is the Oracle then after that Microsoft tried to invent and release many version of a secure server but it wasn't strong as Oracle Oracle controlled the business at that time but in 2005 Microsoft has made a big jump in this year with their modules about a secure server database in this modules or in this release Microsoft supported XML database and relational data which was this is the first time for them to support these kinds of data and database in 2007 and that approved that Oracle has controlled the database market and business in 2007 only their benefits from their Oracle database come came up to 15 billion dollars which is a big fortune for this company after that after 2007 until now there was a very hot competitions between the companies between Oracle in one side Microsoft with the secure server on the other side and MySQL which is the open source database system and as we can see now 
that Microsoft has released the new version of their SQL Server database, which is the 2016. The release that we will use it in these courses. So this is a very quick look to the database and database systems and how they get developed over the years. I hope you liked you like this video so if you like it don't forget to share it with your friends subscribe with the channel so as to get more and more videos about database this is just the beginning stick with us goodbye